Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about how to use the debugger for Python in VS Code. So when you hover your mouse on the side next to the number line, you'll see a red dot. And if you click on it, it'll place a breakpoint on part of your code. So after you, after you put the breakpoint, you could go to run and then start debug, or you could hit the F5. I'm just going to click start debugging here. So when you do that, this little thing will pop up on the top. And you'll have different options. You could click this one to continue. You could do this to step over. You could click this to step into. You could click the up arrow to step out. This green circle arrow to restart and this red box to stop. And you can also click on the corresponding buttons to execute these buttons. Um, so when you see here on the left, you have your variables explorer. So you can see all the variables that's been declared. So here you can see we have a title variable called Python debugger in VS Code. And when you hover over it, you can see the type which is a string for str. You also have globals, which shows you all your global variables. You could add variables to your watch by typing in the variable name when you, after you click the plus sign. So you know, let's say I have title here, then you could watch your title. And then you have a call stack, which will show you the different um, if the, there's different functions that's being called along the way or different files, it'll show you where it jumps between the different files. And what I like most is the debug console here. So here you could type out directly the things that you're using. So in this case, you could type out title and you can see that your title variable says Python debugger in VS Code. So this is pretty useful when you're debugging and you could just type out the different things that's in your current workspace and you can see what it outputs. Okay, so this is a pretty simple example on how to use the Python debugger in VS Code. And then in the future, I'll probably make a more complicated one.